How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to The Grind. Uh, apologies, I know right now this this episode is going to be a little bit late because um, it's already half three my time when I'm recording this and it's meant to be up at five. So yeah, apologies it is a little bit late, I know. Um, I was a bit busy, a bit lazy at the same time. Like, I probably could have like slotted in like the time to record it, uh, but then I had to do stuff afterwards and yeah. Time just kind of happened and now it's half free anyway i'm gonna put up some boosters on and i'm gonna put on their premium and we'll get started right so we're on live oaks which is not that bad i suppose um we do have tier 10 game and we do have a type 5 heavy so we can just uh press 2 and go straight through him because that's always very nice looking at the lineup we also have an e100 which is actually going to be kind of an issue um there's not really too much point in me firing like premium at him because it makes no difference um, it's a 50 50 even with premium if I go through his turret because that's just the way it is now um, I think it's actually just stupid I think they have buffed the E100 a little bit too much but what are you gonna do we don't have any light tanks nor do they that's okay we'll slowly trundle our way into the city as they get hit by RT. Okay, that's interesting. Type 5 has gone to the, like, kind of dip area. I don't know why you take a Type 5 there. I mean, maybe you're too slow, but, like, with two artillery, I really wouldn't want to take a Type 5 to that location. get a shot onto him. I think we're going to just play around here because there's not really too much point of us going directly into the city at the moment. So we might as well just play around here because we're relatively safe um, from other people with these buildings to cover us. And also we can then kind of hopefully get some shots in now and again. What's that? It's fine. Mm, a little bit unlucky. We had to kind of snap it though, so... Kind of to be expected to miss. I would very much like to get a, at least one shot into this 277. Can you do that again? It's just uh, ch uh, deciding whether he's going to go up here, this side, or this bit here again. I can't shoot the uh, TVP, I don't think. Although I might be able to. I don't know at the moment. We'll just be patient for this 277. He could have gone all the way down and around here, maybe. But I'm not so sure. There we go. Our patience paid off. We get a nice shot into him. We can now move back again. TVP is over that way, so we don't have to worry about him at the moment. Can't actually shoot this guy, unfortunately. Like, he won't go through the houses, see? Right, that's not so good, actually. Because we've lost the left-hand left -hand side of the map. <clears throat> oh, how are we going to play this now? This is always nice and fun. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think we go in here. Really? Did he just... Okay. 
Well, I don't have a team there then. There's nothing I can do against him. Maybe I can shoot the char. No. We're dead here. Unfortunately, our team just died. Um, there's nothing you can do. Like, I can't out-traverse a 277, so... For a slow tank, that map's actually really quite bad. It's one of my favourite maps, but... It's really, really quite bad if you're in a very, very slow tank, like the T95. Or even a Type 5. Like, the Type 5 done nothing. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, well, moving on to the next battle. Balls. Nice. Alright. This is probably my favourite map in the game. Even for light tanks, I'd rather have Himmels than, like, anything else. Like, rather than giving me some other map like Paris or whatever. Because at least for a light tank, you can still do stuff on this map. It's not like you're just completely useless. Do you reckon he'll cross? Went well for him? As an S1 sitting here, so we should be safe from this angle as well. Which is going to be quite nice for us. And 60 TP can play there, I can play here. And we can just lock this place down. Okay. He should be dead for that. A tank is too fat to be able to like wedge myself up. Bit unlucky with the Capola. Wow. Okay. That went really where I wanted it, didn't it? Of course you hit my Capolas, because why wouldn't you? Okay, buddy. What is this luck that they have? Whenever I'm shooting at a T95, it never happens. Nice shot into him. T-54 is behind us though, so we need to watch out for that. I mean, if the pick... I don't know how this camp fans are still alive, to be quite honest with you. It is beyond me how it, he is still walking. Walking? Moving. Where, where, where? How am I bouncing these? We can try and move our way over this way. Oh, man. This is just... I don't have the HP to play with. I guess we just go this way. And just try and clean up over here. Okay, we might be able to shoot this AMX in a second. Depends if he wants to be a little bit kind of... Overconfident this way. But like, there's a 60 TP, so why would he? Right, we're going to load HE, okay? This is like big brain play, okay? Okay, sure. Oh, can RNG screw me over anymore? That looked like it was going exactly at him.
That would have been 1k right there. WT should be going back to decap. Otherwise he's just lost. Yeah, oh well. I don't know what the WT was doing at the end there. Oh, at least we can apply that. We get a little bit of XP for that. Where did I hit the um, the phase one, that first shot? Hmm, exactly where I aimed that. Mm -hmm. And of course it goes down low. Oh, wait, I have... Right, well, into the last game. Um, yeah, we get Lakeville with free RT. Can't wait. Um, what do I want to do? I mean, I'm going to the city because going valley is gonna, just going to be suicide with free RT. So, we're going to hug the wall and just hope that we don't get spotted on the way there. Well, we haven't been spotted yet. So, I guess that's a good thing. However, we do know that there is a few people in the city. So, hopefully we can get there before my team end up dying. Like, I really don't want this 277 to die. If this 277 dies, then we're at a massive disadvantage here. I also might end up having to just spam all my premium rounds here. One into a lower plate of Bob. Bob is dead. This is good. See you later, Bob. Try and take out this 277. I didn't quite have the angle to be able to do it. However, the, they are losing quite a lot of hit points, to be fair. Next we take out the 705. Actually, there's a... What the hell is that? Is that a char? Yeah, the char is over this way as well. So he could be trying to flank round. Maybe. So I don't really want to push in. Because one, I can just get tracked and I'm dead. But two, I don't know what, what this char is doing. There he is. Look at him. Don't have the reload time, unfortunately, to be able to kill him. Or shoot him. 705 is there. Char. This is good information for us, at least. CS-59 might try and go down here. To, like, reinforce him. I don't know if I'll be able to spot him. R-277 is backing off. Why? Like, why? We literally have this. There's no reason to back off now. What I am going to do is low premium, though. I load premium. Maybe the T95 will want to move forwards. I'm not sure. We can push this. He doesn't pen us in return. The char should take one from this 277 if he was with me. Like, this is what I mean. Why why is the 277 backing off in this situation? Like, my people that are behind me need to come forward and help. So at the moment, it's only me that's doing anything for the team in the city. We are gonna take one in return. Like, the char will track me. I'd repair that though. It's 
because I don't want to get in the way of um, the T95. T95 fires, and we can just finish. I have a damaged gun. What? Oh, what is this? Okay, he's drowned. Okay. Oh. I was like, why is there a T95 in the middle of the map? We can go back to uh, loading normal rounds now. I was about to receive 750 damage as I crossed. Alright, well, at least that game went a lot better than the last two did. We might be able to get one into the T30 as well, which would be very nice. Probably not then. Maybe one into the E50M? I don't know. That's a little bit of a uh, hard shot to hit, especially with a damaged gun. I mean, we tried. At least we can now get the uh, gun back up in, well, six seconds. Oh, okay. Where is he? Is he like there? I don't know. He's, he'll be because it's a dip down there. We might be able to shoot him, but okay. Well, 4K damage is good enough, and we can apply. Very, very nice. Okay. Well, that went better than the other two did. So that has been the grind for today and for this week. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It all does help me out greatly. Coming out of the day today is simply going to be Friday because it's Friday and the weekend is upon us. So uh, hopefully you uh, all have a good one and I'll see you next week for the grind.